All right, unboxing here, photo, video, gear should be I uh, sometimes run into more of the gear than I am in producing content. So this is the Atom Cube RX-1. This is my second one. I do like this light. Um, I'm finding it powerful and pretty easy to use. Bluetooth connection is a little slow. It's a little expensive, 169, 168. It's about it's a it is a August 1st, 2020, and you get USB-C. Cable, you get a bracket, a mounting bracket. Um, I had to buy, I bought this extra diffuser for 12 bucks or so. Nice case. And I'm excited to figure out how to do this in a pair with my other one. Is it going to have you charge with it? Uh, not really. Nope. Okay, and pretty small like this, and, oh there we go, I turned it on first, thought I did, you have to, there we go. So back controls, nice LCD, pretty straightforward. And again, I think I've done a video on this already, but you got controls. Here is the USB C attachment. It's uh, to navigate through the menus. It's going to also a menu navigator, a dimming control, power, and the brackets here, three sizes of different brackets. And I actually do use the bracket. And it's easy to mount. <laughs> Middle one. Oh, I'm not using the bracket. Interesting. I'm not using the bracket on the other one. My old one. What you do is it you can fit it directly to any kind of tripod um, mount. And I have it connected to here to a standard... Uh, tripod um, it's a connector it kind of like it's a clamp I can clamp it to the wall clamp it to a pole um, and the thing I was planning to mount it without the bracket that came with it because I don't think it's necessary and I use these uh, smart small small rig connectors I have a few of these and you can just plug it into the side like this these rig connectors are pretty good, but I have received a few where they kind of rotate around a bit. So it's been, I like them, I bought more of them, but they're a bit hit or miss on whether they can hold things up. But you can connect it to, I have these poles on my desk, Elgato uh, mounting poles that are awesome. And I just use this. Probably should have put the diffuser on. First, and by, by the way, I'm actually lighting, I'm lighting the uh, video here with my old one. I got it actually facing the wall. There we go. Was it even in the video? All right, so I, it's all in there. Okay, let's get the small rig attachment back on let's turn it on and now try to connect it to my phone atom cube 
application, it finds my old one, add device, rx1, I'm assuming this is the new one. Rx1, 2, okay, done, done, okay, it's found both of them, group, okay, so this should turn uh, red, in theory, but it did not, okay, so I'm using the Ooh -wee. Okay, so that turned everything off. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this other one back to this way. Okay, should everything should go blue. Everything went blue. Everything should go purple, orange. Green. That's cool. It is synced up. Now let's go 100%. It's not synced up there. Okay, red, red, green, blue. Pretty cool. Purple. I'll say this is a very neat device. Uh, the red is perfect. Yellow and orange temperature ones are great. The blue is a little, like, yeah, that's blue, but it's a little white ish still. And there we go. I'm into this. This is uh, this is uh, pretty amazingly bright, and the connectivity is working good. What I'd like to know is if I boot this up, are the devices going to be synced up automatically? Yeah, this is like a red, white scene you know I tend to use the uh, group the color tones the most okay all right well that works it's easy to set up um, what I also do to control these is I get extension cords, extension, let me say that again, USB extension cords, and I have them easily plug them in with that, and so you don't have to worry about charging the battery all the time. I am a bit concerned, because these are expensive, that the longevity of them with, I don't leave them plugged in all the time. <clears throat> like I'm using another one on power, but I have the power cord easily available to charge it. But um, you can't replace the battery in these things. So are they going to last a long time? Are they gonna be not working at all if, uh, if the uh, battery dies? Can you still plug them in and use them? I have concerns about that. There's a different brand um, out there right now. It's about $90, depending on where you get it, 109 or 109. Um, but I'd like to know, I'd like to see those compared. I haven't bought one. I think that that other one is not as bright as these, but they do have good reviews as well. So that's what I do, I just USB plug in, I plug this into like a power brick here and I got extra length and I, I can quickly charge these without taking them down. So this, to me this is maybe, we'll see how it goes, but maybe a better possible alternative than those Elgato lights that are just do, you know, warm tones, temperatures rather than colors. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.